and the next door to be fitted is the airing cupboard door. Oh my god! It's big! It's here! I've never been in as many DIY shops in my life. I'm loving it. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Welcome good morning. to a vlog. Please making breakfast. I've been up priming doors. I am currently studying my underpants, so actually why I'm not on film. However, I will show you what I've done. So we've managed to get rid of all the doors ready for the sofa to come today. And I was up this morning and I've primed that door frame now. So you can't really get the full effect as to what it's going to look like, but it's basically going to simulate this panelling. But it's going to simulate it on here. So it's actually stood a little bit proud. And that looks like it's drying, like that's quite quick. Um, so that's just got an undercoat on there and then we're actually going to eggshell the entire door later on today when the sofa's arrived. And then it should give us the effect of what we want it to look like long term. Sonny, what would you say before you were interrupting me? I said that's the most exciting news today. The sofa is arriving. Yes, and then we've got three more doors to fit and then the bulky work's done. Vitamin D has been in the news again about how effective it is against the, against protecting against the virus. And your immune system in, for, in yeah, general. So we are keeping on taking those. I'll tell you something, ever since I got back to the apartment or home, I've realised what a really nice... You've managed to drag thumbnails out much longer. Uh, this isn't an ad, because I actually don't think they sell them anymore. But I really like these thin sleepers. That's the ones the bubbles in the feet, isn't the, it? Yeah, they've got not, like... Um, not keen. They feel a bit weird. It's what, like you've got pebbles in your shoes. It's... it's um, what's that word? Uncomfortable. No, it's... Um, I've got that word now, what it's supposed to be. I don't know. It's good for your back and it's good for... Posture. It's good for... What's that word? Where you... Not reflexology, but... Um, I forgot what it is. Something for your feet. Is that anyway? Lumpy yeah. feet. No. The carpet fit has been. He's measured up. So we've just got to wait um, for him to get back to us. And the next door to be fitted is the airing cupboard door. Which fits more than enough and the bedroom one doesn't fit at all. Mm. So I'm not going to be able to do that. Then once the sofa's been later today, we're going to go out and get one of those uh, panels for this side of the door and the other side of the door to make that into the white door. Um, we've taken this off, or should I say Nick's taken that off. I don't think we'll be putting that back on, will we? What? This airing, airing. Well, I don't know. It's, it's on inside a door, so it's not really going to matter. Well, suppose underpants would dry quicker to, in there. Well, yeah, gives you somewhere to put your slacks. Oh my god. It's a bit big. It's here. I nearly had to send them away because I couldn't get it in. <laughs> it's massive. Just squeeze it in. <laughs> um, so yes, burn. it took a while to get in. And they said at first, we have a big problem that ain't going in that apartment. But um, they managed it, they squeezed it, and they shoved it, and it's in. And I tell it's you, so it's humongous. <laughs> it, that's just the large one, isn't it? Yeah. Not, not extra large, How is it? How the hell are you going to use them steps? Here. Yeah, but there's a sofa going there. Another one? Not necessarily. We'll have to just think. And, um, maybe we just have to get two chairs. One there, well, yeah, one maybe. Here. We probably won't ever have that, that many people anyway. Well, it's nice and comfy. It's very firm. You don't like it? I do. But I'm trying to judge where the dining table's going to go because that ain't going to fit either. Well, that's what we've got to do today. Think about what's going to go with it. More doors to hang first. Well, that'll look really nice with some uh, nice cushions on. Yeah, these things are going to go straight away. You don't like them, do you? I actually don't mind them cushions, they look all right. If you want a Shackleton's high seat chair, we'll go shop at Shackleton's. Shut up, I've been an arse. That's better. Get your sense out on it. Cluttered. Get your sense out on it. Oh, tonight you wouldn't be able to get a chair. And I can be here with my legs up. Oh, it's rock hard. <laughs> it's like yeah, solid. But it's good that it's not um, it's, I like it's smushy. hard rather than too yeah. squidgy. Yeah. IKEA furniture tends to be squidgy. It just looks unusual at the minute because there's nothing else in the room. Yeah, well, we've got all that furniture coming as well. I know. <laughs> So we're trying to position it in different places to see what it'll look like. Kind of like it in the window, actually. I kind of do, but I think it's too big. Yeah, oh, that's if, too if big, we yeah. we went for a medium, which would finish around here, we could get a lamp table in there. And then the there's a big one there. Here, and so then, it's like an expanded dining room. And then all oh, this is dining room. Yeah, sit well, on. no, we have another chair here. Another chair? The bla a black chair here. Small, it has to be small. Yeah, a small black chair, but in the same range. Well, they do a really small one, a nice funky one. 
It's got a match. Yeah, it's the same range. But it's funky. Have a sit on that, see what you think over there. And then um, the dining table at the back, but I can't judge at the minute because of all the clutter. Oh, it's fucking hard, it's like sitting on a shelf. <laughs> I mean, it's much better now to those friggin' chintzy cushions off it you keep putting on. Do you mean the ones that came with it? Yeah, I do like it here actually. I, I do, I like it there. We could even get another one of these, the exact same Oh, size. no, 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 I think it'd be far too much furniture then to, a, to those size. Yeah, but if we, we've got all this room, if we put another sofa and went right back, I know, but I want coffee tables and stuff like that. I want, you know what I mean? Well, if you want the coffee table, then you would have to add well, the coffee table's going there. the side of the chair, the other side of this near the top of the steps, and if you've got a medium sofa, you can get a coffee table here. Yeah, that's what we need. three different lamps. It's too much, too, too big. I do like it there, though. And bear in mind that the, the, the TV unit is going to be a lot smaller than that unit in the window. Yeah. So there'll be room at the side for maybe the plant or the lamp or whatever. Right, all the blanking plates have come off. Everybody's choking. Well, mainly you're choking. There's only those two here. Um, everything, um, everything's come off. The these things, and we've sprayed them with some grey primer. But um, it smells like nail polish remover, doesn't it? Very, very strong. <coughs> right, we've got these um, horrible doors now to get down to the bins because um, Lee's booked a, a collection from the council to get rid of them. So uh, you can do that. <laughs> right, we've got slightly tidied up. We've took. All the old doors and all the old baby gate railings <coughs> down to the bin. Thank God, never to be seen again. Lee's just got a bit of tidying up to do, sawdust and things like that to tidy up. And uh, we're currently having a little bit of dinner. It looks rank, doesn't it, that? <laughs> Marmite and um, cream cheese is amazing. One rank, hot, one cold. But it's, it, it's tasty, it's tasty. Right, let's go off this and then what we're we doing? Oh, we're going to go to Wicks. Oh. We've now decided that we're going to get a medium sulfur for there. We've been putting different variations on tape and everything, but we've decided medium sulfur there, that's going to go there. And now Nick's cutting this size and shape of the coffee table that's coming. There we go, that's the coffee table. You mean dining table? Dining table, yeah. Right, so... Obviously, you've got to um, think about the chairs as well that'll go round that. You like the round circle? No, oh, yeah, very round. It's more of a heart shape. Yeah. Sure, I've done it wrong. Yes, I have. Oh no! <laughs> it's trimming. All right, so that's a bit too big, is it? Yeah, it's a bit. So we're just going to put this where we think, well, where we know we're going to put it, and then we can decide whether we'll need kind of some kind of funky chair there. Or whether it's just going to be too much. Well, we've ordered the chair, so... Well, we have, but we can cancel it because it's a six-week lead time because it's different. It's the same as these, but it's a different colour. So it's more darker just so that you get some kind of contrast. Right. Now, what we need to do... Don't forget to save some of that for the spray painting. Clear this area of absolute shite, which we've already done twice. And see if, see if it'll fit. Right, I'll get you the chair dimensions. Right, we're finally out. It's four o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, we're heading to Wix to get the... Um, tubular latches. Tubular latches, whatever you call them. I call it a fake door. Um, fake door? Fake oh, no, door. no, no, we need that as well. I forgot yeah. about that, yeah. To um, convert the office door into a white uh, door. So when we get back, maybe I'm gonna... Well, I'll have to help Nick with that, and then we're going to gloss the front door, aren't we? So we can finally see yeah. what it's going to look like fully done. Well, the office door, I can take off and look, put it flat, so we won't have to screw it like we did yesterday you when we glued it on. both sides up, would you? No. So, probably better staying up. Well, maybe. And um, then the carpet fitter came this morning. I'm not sure we've mentioned this. What an arsehole. Then he called, he called back later. Hello, if you're watching. <laughs> He, he, he measured up everything and then called back later and said, actually, I ain't got a laminate fitter that can do it and um, our laminate fitter doesn't know how to do this, doesn't know how to do that, doesn't know how to do this, and we're like... Can't well, do steps, can't do edges. Well, what will point you come in and we're like, get a freaking new laminate, laminate fitter then if you can't actually fit laminate. So I've just said, well, do the carpet then. He was like, okay then. Yeah, so they're and just going like, to do the carpet what? anyway, because we like the carpet, they've done the measurements, so we might as well just get them in and do it. 
um, they have done a good job on cameras before for us. Um, and then that will mean we need to revisit the laminate again. Uh, so we're thinking maybe the vinyl one that we've got at the lodge, at, at the apartment now, and Nick might have a go at fitting himself. Well, I'll start with the office and then we can crack on with work in the office. And if that yeah. works, and I've got used to playing with the vinyl and the materials, because it's, it's quite different to laminate, because it's flexible and you can cut it with a knife. So if that works out, then um, I will basically make an attempt to do downstairs, which I'm pretty sure I can do. I'm sure you can do, because you you've done so much so far. So far, Nick's fitted hive. Can't believe it did that. Hung new fire doors. Um, made a, a fake fire door downstairs. Not done any of that before. Um, what Tell you, you Google and YouTube are your bloody best friend. Yeah. So um, I have com a complete faith in you. And also you are obviously backed up by an extremely great handyman known as me. I'm a fetch me carry me man. Team man. I've never been in as many DIY shops in my life. I'm loving it. <laughs> Every day. I mean I prefer to go to Primark and Superdry and stuff like that myself. 60 mil. Right, are they fire rated? Let's have a little quick look. These are quite cheap, aren't they? What, £2.50? Just need some of these for the doors, for the new doors. Suitable for use on fire, smoke resistant doors, assemblies. Perfect. I'm a bit squashed. So the uh, the stuff's in the back, the seat's as far forward as it'll go and the seat's almost vertical. So my knees are literally like squashed in. You be read, because I'm a, I'm a very good driver. I'm a very safe driver. And don't forget we're calling for beer. Mm. In fact, we'll call it that co-op, that co-op that we've never been to yet. Nicer than that, not to do beer. Don't risk it. It's a co-op will do beer. It's a garage. It's a co-op as well. Fine then. We'll, get, we'll end up going to the other one if they don't do it. Right, get back to the apartment. I've still got hours and hours of work to do yet. Which means I have as well. Back at the lodge, we had a call off at the co-op. We're not at the lodge. No, no we're not. <laughs> I don't know, I'm getting used to where I am. I'm at the uh, home. Called up at the co-op and got a clearance quiche. Was it cheese and onion quiche? You said you didn't want any. Well, I'm gonna have a bit now because it might not be. It'll be a while before we have tea, maybe. I need some sauce on it though. Well, we need to sort the kitchen out because there's stuff like plates and in drawers. This is ridiculous. Well, I know, but there's nowhere else from at the moment. There will. You what sort of? Oh. Of the drawers. That's what I want. I can't it's imagine it being here. as nice as HP, but we'll have some um, Happy Shopper brown sauce, a pound. You want to squirt on? Oh no, don't desiccate mine in that. Nick's up there sorting that door out. It's, that's the computer room door where we're putting the um, stick on grooves on. And I'm just going to give this another coat of undercoat around the wood. And then that, hopefully, either later tonight or probably tomorrow actually, will be ready for glossing. The door's now drying. Nick's just still on with that door upstairs and I'm cooking this. Rogan Josh style lamb meatballs. So I've made my meatballs, all eight of them there. Uh, the rice is cooking. In fact, I think it looks like it's cooking a bit too much. Shit out of you. Um, so that's cooking away there. Let's keep an eye on that. And I'm just about to fry the meatballs. These meatballs don't look very impressive. They've not stayed together very well at all. They're all sort of collapsing, I'm trying to keep them together as much as I can, but it's more kind of just fried pork rather than meatballs. I thought it were meatballs, not beans. No, it's lentils, but the... Where's meat the meatballs? Well, they went a bit wrong. I mean, How come when I do HelloFresh it never goes wrong? They are, because you're a chef, I mean, they are there, but um, they kind of disintegrate a little bit. So it's a mince, basically. So, um, tell me when to stop. That's mine. No, the right hand side yours. Stop. There you go. A little bit of coriander on top for you, sir. Yep. Mo oh, more than that, more than that. Ooh. Don't a bit of garnish always make a dish look delicious. Rank. You've even dropped them on yours. Mm. It's eight o'clock at night. I was going to pay somebody to do this. When do we rest? When? When this works. When do we rest? When? Well, try the door handle and watch what happens. Well, I can't because there's no handle on this side. <sighs> so we've got the office door to prime and Nick's trying to fix this door handle we've bought shit cheap latches that's the problem no. so the door handles go down but they don't come back up mm. but I think it's because the drill hole in the centre is not big enough good morning guys 
We went to bed last night because we were exhausted after a day of DIY, so I didn't get to finish the vlog. So, I'm just coming down here. I've got to be careful. It's Nick's size pants, as always, because he's painting. painting. Nick is glossing the door. Oh, looks good. It still needs another coat on yeah. the, these areas, even though it's had four coats now. Four coats? Yeah. Free now. It's had two undercoats and two eggshells. It's only eight in the morning, but Nick is, is busying away. I've been up since half six. Um, so we're going to finish the vlog now, guys, and I'm going to make breakfast and start a new vlog. And then we do more painting. Uh, another day of DIY. Unfortunately. I've got some tuckings due today, though. Half past ten. Ooh. DPD. So thanks for watching today, guys. Hit the like button, click the notification bell, drop us a comment below. Hit that subscribe button if you are new around here. And we'll see what we get up to tomorrow. Oh, we're going to stand up then.